Bonjour, everybody. Wow. <laughs> We've got a little echo going on here. Okay. Let's see. We're going to try something. Well, all right, the echo's gone. <laughs> Yay. All right, welcome. Bonjour, everybody. Hi, this is Neshi Lokat. You're watching Star Nation's Communications from Home. And it's Tuesday night on October 10th, 2017, just in case you didn't know the year. <laughs> what a wonderful day we've had around here at Star Nations. My goodness, we had lots going on. That's for sure. Um, we had so much going on that uh, it was hard to keep track of. <laughs> I'm just trying to get uh, something up for you guys. And uh, all right, there. Now, tonight is all about you, our audience. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is how the heck do you find, how do you find the Star Nation's radio shows on Facebook. How do you do that? Because we've had some people um, saying that they had to look around quite a bit to find us. Um, we've also had some people saying, I looked so hard I couldn't find you. <laughs> so I thought, why not? Why not have just a, a, a show just about that alone? And I have to tell you, you know, uh, it's kind of interesting because this is my first solo radio show in a lot of months. I've had guests. Um, I took a, a, a short break um, when we were doing blog talk radio. And, uh, and so tonight's my first night back solo. I kind of like it. So as as you're watching the show, I would really, really appreciate it because we're going to talk about this a bit. Um, I've got my phone here, and I am going to like and share this live stream show. And uh, and how you do that is um, you're at on screen. Once you find the show here, we're gonna go to it. Um, you have got to turn down the sound so we don't get an echo. See there, there it is. Kind of weird to see myself watching myself, you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, you can either like or love it. I'm going to love it. And then I'm going to share. And I'm going to share it. I'm going to write a post because I'm doing it on my phone. And I am going to share it. But I'm, I, I usually do it to my timeline. But this time, I'm going to do it to a group. Because I'm going to send it to Star Nations Radio Network, closed group, and, and tell them, I'm... I'm going to do uh, better, but do Neshi so they know that who 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 I'm talking about is <laughs> live streaming. Got a spell. Live streaming her show. Join me. There we go. And then I'm just going to post it. And it's going to go show up in that closed group because you know what happens? Because it happens to me is that I mean to watch something or to be a part of a live stream and I get busy. I get busy and I forget. I lo lose track of time. And so then what happens is that one of my friends is going to send a message, right, about it or, or tell me about it through Messenger. And it's like, oh, yeah, I was going to do that. So it's really very helpful to, to others, really, to share and to like. But one of I so I sat down this afternoon and I kind of figured, OK, if I were looking for a show, how would I do that? 
what would we do? Because believe it or not, here at Star Nations, we are uh, promoting the, the shows. And we know that it's going to be a little bit of a, um, an effort to and time uh, to help really promote the shows because um, we're it now right? We can't rely on blog talk radio to do that kind of um, promotion for us. And so we are, uh, we promote not just on Facebook, we promote on Google Plus and Instagram and Twitter. And so you, you'll you find us there too with the links. But here on Facebook, it's going to be a lot easier, I think, to be able to find us um, if you know where and what to look for. So that's what we're going to do first. And then, um, given some time, I am going to, I would like to share with you about um, the, the new magazine, October issue. And we got some fun stuff in there, too, that I want to share with you. Okay. All right. So welcome to the show, Star Nations Communications from Home. And this is one of the communications we're going to be talking about. All right. Um, let's start with the easy stuff. Let's start with the easy stuff. I'm going to get my, my little cheat me, sheet sheets out. And uh, we're going to get my notes up here. So the very first thing that we're going to be doing is um, going to the main fan page because that's where we are right now. That's where you're watching the show from right now is the main fan page for Star Nations. It's called Star Nations magazine, radio network, and publishing, all right? And so for the recorded show, and because we're going to be sharing this in other places, um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, we're going to share it from the main. Let's see. Yeah, I'm using something new here. I know what I'm going to do. We're going to copy and paste this. If I can, it's something new, right? There we go. This is the link. That's the link. And I'm going to put the link also in to the, the comment section so that those people who would be looking for it um, are going to this, this um, video that they'll be able to see it there. And it's going to stay with the video. All right. All right. So we're at the the main fan page and there's a couple of things that you want to look for at the man, main fan, fan page to help you to find the show that you're looking for. And uh, what you're going to do is you are going to look for the notification that comes from us through Facebook. And I'm going to show you what that what that looks like. Um, whoops, went right by it. All right, we're going to give it a little solo here. All right, so this is at the main fan, fan page. And if you take a look at the notification, it's got my picture in it, okay? And um, that is the, yeah, the notification for, for the show. That's one of the things that we put up there. And actually, I think this is the event. This is the event that you're going to find on the page, and it's at the very top of the page. Um, and what you can do is you can click on where it says going. It's actually going to have interested, okay? And then you just click on that box, and you can select if uh, the going part. And if you're going, Facebook will send you a notification, a prompt to remind you that you said that you were going to go to this event. All right. That's one way. And the event, um, because um, because this is a live stream, all of our chats happen within the live stream. It doesn't happen at the event. But I'll tell you what we have at the event when you look at it and you look at that very first post under there is that we're going to have the link to the live stream show. So all you have to do is click on that link and it'll take you right directly to the live stream show. All right. But, you know, we're not going to be in the event and to, to leave um, messages, comments. You're going to have to come over to the live stream for that. All right. And uh, at the beginning of this show, I had a little bit of, um, uh, oh, my gosh, what's going on? 
I couldn't I couldn't start the broadcast. And so I sent our tech at B Live um, that I was having a problem. So I'm gonna let them know that everything's fine. Um, everything is fine. I'm live. And then a thanks. And that way they won't send me another message <laughs> and have my phone vibrating. All right. So that was one way, right? So I'm going to look for, it's going to, it's called a notification. And I'm looking, I set this up um, for specific pictures and I must've went right by it. Because the Facebook will send you something called a notification. And on the notification, um, maybe this is it. Yep, this is it. All right. So on this um, notification that's sent to you from um, Facebook, and it's posted. It's posted at the fan page. And then what we do is we share this post out to the uh, radio closed group. We share it to the publishing page. And um, some of the hosts will actually share it to their own pages for their radio shows. Okay. And if you notice on this post, on the notification, it gives you um, some information. It says Star Nation's communications from home with me, Neshi Lokatz, how to find the, the Star Nation's radio network shows on Facebook. That's the show that you're watching right now. And if you wanted to, you could click on Get Reminder. That's in that gray box. Get Reminder. When you click on that, Facebook will actually send you a reminder a couple minutes before the show. And in that reminder, they will have the link to the show and all you have to do is click on it. So that was pretty simple too, huh? I think so. I think so. And we got a couple of messages down here. Cindy, Cindy Lynn. Hi, Cindy. She says, okay, good. Was a bit confusing this morning for the shows, even though I had a reminder, right? I'm going to cover that one too. And Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline is also saying, me too. I got lost. I know. And it took me a little while to find the show this morning, um, to find uh, Dana's show this morning. And I'm going to tell you why, okay, in just a second, because um, I want to show you a couple of other things on here. I'm going to get my notes up. I'm going to get my notes up. All right. Um, there. Okay. I get it. All right. So now, we're at, we, we did the, the main fan page. So you're going to be able to find the notification and the event. And the events always happen um, near the top of the page. So you don't have to keep scrolling through. They're listed at the top of the page. And so um, we're gonna, I'm going to really try very hard to make sure that we have all the shows listed there on the day that they're going to be happening. Okay. So all you have to do is click on the event. Look for the live, the link to the live show. Click on that, and that will take you to the live show. All right, I'm trying to make that easy. That's one way you can find us. The other way is, um, is uh, each show has their own fan page, and I'm going to show you one. And it just happens to be this one from Star to Stone. It's their own fan page, and this is where their show happened from this morning. Um, Mervyn, Nelly, uh, produced their show, and so when you go to their when you go to their page, if you're not, if you haven't liked their page, you really do need to do that, and we'd appreciate it if you did, because if you look, you're going to see liked, right? And a more important piece is right next to it. It says following. And another drop down box. And this is one of the reasons why we had problems this morning, I think. Because I'm going to show you something. I have to get to Dana's page here. Here we go. 
Now, this is Dana's Dana's page. She broadcasted her show this morning, The Mystic's Heart, from her fan page for her radio show, The Mystic's Heart. And um, I realized something this morning that um, I should have remembered, but I didn't. On occasion, Facebook, for whatever reason, they reset our, our notifications back to default. Don't ask me why. It just happens. <laughs> but if you if you click on the follow um, following button, you're going to get a drop down box. And on that drop down box, you can see a check mark there next to default. You want to change that. You want to see this first. So you're going to click that, and it's going to move the check the check mark to see this first or see first. Which means, which means that when the when the um, show is going to get started, um, Facebook will send you a notification that one something that you like is going to be starting soon, and you're going to see that come up on your screen. Okay, and then you can click on that, and it will take you directly to the show. Yeah, and, and Cindy Lynn, you're right. That's how it has been and always is. I'll check it again, though. Great. Um, because when I did that uh, later later this afternoon, um, when I was getting things prepared for the show tonight, I thought, well, maybe there's a lot of people who may not even know about um, changing how, well, how they're following and the notifications and how they come in. And so I thought, oh, I'll take a look. And I was going to use Dana's show as an example, right? And when I clicked on it, I looked at that and thought, how the heck did it get back to default? Because I didn't change it. So, you know, may, maybe it's a part of, of Facebook's when um, if you haven't used it or clicked on it or um, um, you haven't had much activity on that, that, that it changes. It changes back to default. I don't know. I'd have to look into it and read about it at Facebook um, to find out for sure. But, you know, it's pretty simple. Just go to the to the, the show's fan page that you like um, and, and just check to make sure that under following that it's not set to default, that it's set to see first. Yeah? Okay. Now, um, in the recording of this show, all these pictures will be on the recording. So what you can do um, as you're working on your pages and um, getting things set, set up for yourself, you can have the video rolling, right? You can pause it. You can go out to your, your uh, page that you want to see and work on and follow the steps. Pretty easy, says I, right? <laughs> and if you need help, you know, we're always here. You can always call us. Send us a message saying, I tried. I still can't do this. Can you walk me through it? We'd be happy to. All right. Um, so that's just tweaking the notifications, the following, and then the notifications. The other thing you can do that I learned just the other evening um, is, is how you can, you can um, help during a live show. <laughs> I know. Now, this is what Cindy says. Yes, Lily has helped many times. Yeah, she has. You know, she's really, really good at this stuff. And uh, and so up until October 31st, we can still tap her on the shoulder and say, Lily, can you help me with this? Because she'll still be here to help us until the 31st. OK, actually, until November 1st, All Saints Day. All right. So when you're watching one of the shows, one of the live stream radio shows. And we ask you to please um, share and like the show. So I usually go, um, please like, love, um, and share the show. And thank you. If I could spell, that would be good. <laughs> And so when you see that come up, one of the things that you could do is you can actually do do the sharing and the liking because when that helps and, uh, 
bunch because um, not only does it push the the um, how Facebook shows things in the news news feed. Okay. The more pe- the more likes it gets and the more sharing it gets, the more often it shows up into the newsfeed. So if we all do that on a show, the show really does, it does help. Okay. And where does that show up? You can put it on your own personal timeline, which your friends will see or however you have your timeline set up, or you can share it to a, a group. Maybe, maybe you ha- you're in a group that really it likes um, certain aspects or the certain information that we share here at Star Nations, you can actually post it to that group that you're in and let them know. Yeah. And so that's an, a really important way to help um, not just us, but to help your friends um, to be able to find the show as much easier. And here's one. And we can all do that right now. <laughs> Make sure you like and share it. Okay. A little practice, right? And then there's this new one. There's this new one that is, I think, pretty dang cool. And I didn't even know it existed until about last week. Some of you may have already known. But what you can do in the comments section in the comment section of a live show, if you wanted to um, send a, send it to a specific person, a specific friend, all right, what you would do is you would use um, the, the at sign. And I'll show you what that is, just in case you don't know. You would use the at sign, right? And so let's say we're going to do this. I'm going to send it to my husband. All right. So we would send it to Paul Wilcots. And so it would look like that. Hi, Connie. Hi, Stefan. All right. So it would look like that. And so when you put that into the comments of a show, I'm going to do it right now. So he's going to get it. Um, You put, you type the at sign and then their full name, their, their name as it appears in Facebook. And I don't think there's a space between the first and last name. And then you hit comment. All right. And so you're going to see it in the comments in just a second. There it is. And so this this is how it shows up. So what happens is that Paul is going to get um, um, a notification. He's going to they're going to say, oh, somebody's talking about me. Somebody wants me to see something. All right. And so it goes directly to him. So if there there is here's Con. Hi, Jocelyn. (laughs) And then Connie. Connie is one of our, our elders here at Star Nations, and uh, she has her own show, and it's coming up next week, I believe. Or maybe, no, no, I'm sorry, it's at the end of the month. Yeah, and uh, and so that is how you can help um, friends find the show right when you're watching the show. And you, let, let's say you knew your one of your friends was going to watch the so, show, and you don't see them in, in the uh, comments. You know, you don't see them um, because when you're watching a live stream, you can actually see people pop pop in, right? They pop in and uh, you can see their name come up and you you don't see your friend's name and you think, well, what the heck? Where'd she go? Or where, where is he at? You can do the at sign, their name, make the comment and they will get a little poke. They will not just a poke. Sorry. They'll get a little nudge. They'll get a part of that notification that your name came up in this live stream. And so they also have the, the, the ability to be able to, to uh, click on it. So Cindy Lynn is testing. So she sent it to, to ja- Jocelyn. Jacqueline, I'm sorry. Jackie. So um, you'll have to let us know how that turned out, right? And then Jacqueline is doing it too, back to her. <laughs> so let us know how you actually saw that, right? Let us know how you actually saw that. 
Um, and so that's how you can you can find the shows. We're trying to make it easier. We're trying to make it um, a lot less hectic. You know, I, I could have used that this morning to tell you the truth. Um, because it was pretty dang hectic around here. It was like Grand Central Station and uh, and producing shows, too. Yeah. All right. And. Uh, all right. So same here. What's I don't know. Same here. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, she did it better. Oh, she must. Hopefully she was talking about this. You know, the little people hand show in there. All right. So we, I've got just a couple of minutes, but I really do want to share this with you because um, I really love the magazine, Star Nations magazine. It is um, so much fun to work on, to put together and to see how fabulous it looks um, when on publishing today. It, and today was publishing. And uh, we publish the 10th of every month. And just this happens to be October 10th, right? 1010. What better way, what better way uh, or time to, to do something as on a, on a Stargate of 1010. And so um, here is the cover of the October issue. And uh Yeah. I'd love that cover. And that's out today. And uh, you can, if if you don't already subscribe or you don't um, purchase the, the magazine, it is available in digital for Apple and Android. It is available in print on demand, web viewer, and also um, in PDF. Yeah. And so, and so what, if you need more information, you can always go to star, starnations.org to get uh, all the links and how to do that because we have our partners links um, at our, our um, website and um, our partners links are um, megcloud.com and we also have our link to the Apple and also the link to the uh, Google there, um, however you like to get your magazine. Yeah, and Kelly Spencer, another wonderful issue. It is. And actually, you know what? I have a couple of things I want to show you. This is, this is um, our featured writer this month uh, is Brandoline Johnson. I interviewed her last week. And this is the front page of her article is called How to Stay on Your Unicorn. It's a great article. Love this picture that I found to go with it. Because you know what? When you're looking for unicorns, they're usually very um, childlike and um, cartoonish. Um, but I wanted something that was that was more and that, that we can actually use um, that wasn't copyrighted. Right. And so uh, that's a um, creative commons picture. But I love the purple and the night sky and the stars. Well, I mean, come on. That is all us right at Star Nations for real. <laughs> and Cindy Lynn says, oh, yeah, because my phone never would download them right. Need to get a new script. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad it's working for you now. Um, and here's the next one. This is uh, Carla Jo Worth. She writes um, for her section is called the Electric Pagan under the Fem Sacred Feminine section. And um, she was talking about magic, the magic within and without this month. And let me tell you, um, she is a fabulous article. And in fact, Carla Jo is going to be joining me on October 31st, Halloween night. And so we're going to be talking about her article and about ceremony from a pagan point of view and um, and um, the history about Halloween and um, Samhain. And this is Julie Hedges' article. And Julie is starting um, a new portion of the Tarot journey. She's she's adding in astrology. Um I'm trying to remember evolutionary, evolutionary 
astrology. I think that's right. So the title of her new new column is the Tarot Journey to the Stars. And so she's she's combining both ancient languages and giving us lots of information. And I think you're really going to like her article this month because it's kind of kind of that we we used Alice in Wonderland picture there because it's magical stuff that she's talking about um, for this month. That Alice in Wonderland. Now here's one. Love this picture. I found this picture to go with Donna Thompson's article in the Spirit of Color section, and she wrote about Sal Wen and creation. Um, wait, I got my. I got my list right here. <laughs> I was trying to look at it and it was pretty small. It is um <laughs> Donna Donna Donna, where's your, your the topic here? I didn't write it. No, there it is. It's Sawin custom uh, costumes, veils, and the great weave. And so she was bringing in her Celtic roots in that, and it's uh another I just loved it. I really did. Now, here's one. And this is Mega Nudo's article in Discovering Infinite Grace under the Ascension section. And um, it's occurs as a pathway to emotional wellness and um, using the Akashic Records. And I tell you what, it is... Um, I love putting this one together. I really did. I mean, it's, you know, it's a whole co cooperative effort. There's so many people who work on the magazine between the, um, the writers and Dana doing the helping me with the editing piece and her, all the articles that she writes. <laughs> and we also have um, my husband who is one of the editors. We also have uh, Lily was one of the editors um, once we get the, the PDF ready to go and almost ready to print, they go through and they, they look for all of our um, typographical and for, format issues. That Because after a while, I don't see any of it anymore because I've been looking at it for, for three weeks, right? And, of course, the layout artists at Elf Elm Publishing that put it all together. So there's quite a large team that works on it every month. And, uh, and so the October issue is ready for you um, if you haven't gotten it already. And, uh, and so we do appreciate you taking the time to, to do read the magazine to get it and also to, um, to support all our work here, right? Um, let's see, what time is it? Oh, over by five minutes. But I'm, one more thing I got to share with you because it is exciting, exciting news, all right? So, you know that um, you've heard me say that we've left Blog Talk Radio and that we outgrew it, right? Um, we outgrew the platform. We outgrew um, how they reach their the audience to bring them in. That's what we outgrew. And let me show, let me tell you why. Because it, it uh, we have to say thank you to all of you, all of you who watch our shows and all of you who share them um, just for four days, four days from October 2nd to October 6th. That was the first um, four days that we uh, live streamed our radio shows here at Facebook uh, via Be Live TV, right? So um, in just views alone, just views, that means people are actually watching portion or all of a show right? 2,773 people watched, viewed the shows. There was four shows. There was um, the, the, the Mystic's Heart, Chakra Sessions, Communications from Home, and Balancing Heaven and Earth. Four shows in four days. 2,773 people watched those shows. Holy cow. <laughs> now, here's another one. Uh, holy smokes on this one. Our reach, our reach was 6,144 people. Let me say that again. 6,144 people in four days. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
All I can say is that we're reaching a lot more people with the message, with the information that is spiritually based. You know, we're very, we're very eclectic. We cover such a large range of spiritual topics, everything from angels, right, to the medicine wheel, to the Akashic records, to feng shui, to shinrin, to, it's huge <laughs> what the, the area that we cover, but we're reaching a lot more people, which means that um, if you know what it's like, you know what it's like to be that seeker. When you're first starting out and you're reading everything you can get your hands on, it's like you're a sponge, right? You're trying to get so much information in because you're looking for that one piece that's going to have the aha for you. That one piece that's going to be like a domino effect that everything starts to make sense. We get to do that for people. And it's a, it's a sacred service is how we look at it. And um, and so we really do appreciate you joining us for every one of our shows. And can you imagine, can you imagine if we all just shared the sh once the show that we're watching? That's huge. We have over uh, almost 1,600 people now um, who like our fan page, our main fan page. Even if just one of the, one, each one of them watched the show, one show, and liked and shared it, how many more people we can reach? It's huge. So thank you so much. Iguian. That is a formal Potawatomi thank you. And it's usually reserved for elders, elders, and uh, spirit people, spiritual people like holy men and medicine women. But Iguian, to each one of you um, who watch and share um, the show as we appreciate it. And uh, when you read the magazine, and if you tell people about the magazine, so much of the better, right? Right. So um, <clears throat> I was going to tell you who my guest is next week. Next week, what's the date next week? <laughs> it is the 17th? No. I don't even keep, I can't keep track. Yeah, it's the 17th. And the 17th. Oh, the 17th. I'm crossing my fingers that we're going to have Dana on with Carl and, and Orchard Franklin. And they're going to be sharing with us about their new combined show called The Mystery School. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. So with that, thank you for joining me tonight for Star Nation's communications from home. I hope this was helpful. If you need some more assistance or just have some questions, put them in the comments here and I'll be able to see them. And if I can answer them in the comments, I will. If not, I'll get a hold of you through Messenger and um, we'll try to walk you through it and help you with that. Okay. All right. Well, have a nice rest of the evening and thank you for, for being with us tonight. Bamamina. That's Padawanami until we see each other again. Good night, everybody.